This is a very um, effective technique for anybody who has problems in the chest and higher shoulder problems. And I would always address it from the other um, opposite angle. So if we assume that she has a problem with her left shoulder, what we do is we take the whole pelvis and start twisting the spine in the opposite direction, to the right. Because what that does is it clarifies this diagonal, the echo, the similarity between the two joints. We spoke about the four round ball bearing uh, joints. They mirror each other. So whatever effect we have on one end of this diagonal will resonate on the other side. And you can see that what I'm doing is creating space and allowing the, enabling the rib cage to move in relation to the shoulder blade. The shoulder blade is lying by itself. If I started dealing with the shoulder where there might be inflammation, where there might be a problem, where there might be a um, spasm, it's very difficult to release it from the place of difficulty. Just like a knot that you have with a string, you don't go to the middle of it. It's easier to undo from the periphery. And what I'm doing here is I'm giving relief to that joint by lengthening in the opposite direction and literally giving it space.